Well, Purdue has put all their chips into microchips. That trend continued this morning with a fireside chat and ribbon cutting all about semiconductors. Purdue began their morning at the Burke Nanotechnology Center with a ribbon cutting to celebrate the enhancements in the facility, thanks to a $100 million investment from Purdue and $50 million gift from the Lilly Foundation. Author of the Chips and Science Act, Senator Todd Young, says with the emphasis Purdue has put on their semiconductor programs, they are leading the nation into the future of industry. You needed to be given the opportunity to produce the workers for the emerging technologies of tomorrow. Uh, you are doing that uh, with, uh, with, with great uh, expertise and attracting the attention of businesses and, and government leaders alike in the process. Purdue President Meng Chang says the semiconductor programs at Purdue are creating economic opportunities for Greater Lafayette in and out of the campus community by bringing semiconductor manufacturing jobs right here to West Lafayette. One big reason they are here is because of the facilities and the facility enabled innovation plus workforce development that is happening right here. Following the ribbon cutting, Chang, Senator Young and National Science Foundation Director Seth Roman Ponchanathan hosted a fireside chat to discuss the future of this emerging technology. The fireside chat did end in protest from students. Our Hannah Grace has more on that. Emily Slater, Star City News, Purdue University. This is about bold innovation through fundamental research and applied research. It's going to keep us in the vanguard of competitiveness, and that's going to make possible knowledge and kickstart amazing things for the future. I know it's going to happen.